the nose. The nose is really tricky for a lot of people. And your picture might be facing a different direction, so you might have to do it slightly different. But pay attention to my tips. This is what I'm going to try to show you. We're going to try to create the nose from negative space. That means the space in between other shapes. You do not want to draw the nose as its own shape. One, it will look fake. Two, it will be bigger than it should look. And it just won't feel right. So this is what I need to do. I'm going to turn off the visibility of my face base, right? So I can see the nose. I'm going to keep the highlights and the shadows on there. And we are going to first zoom in a little bit just so we're on the nose a little bit more. We're going to start with the nostril. So I'm going to option click. I'm clicking on the top layer and I'm going to option click on new layer. It's going to pop up a layer options panel and I'm going to call this nose. I'm going to take my pen tool. I'm going to make sure that I have no fill and I'm going to go back to a black stroke for right now. And I want to simply trace my nostrils, or Mrs. Hayes's nostrils in this case, okay? So we got one. Now this one's slightly different. Different angle of the nose, something along these lines. Change in directions of my handle. Option as I connect. And there we go. Next up, I want to trace this kind of pattern, kind of like a line figure of a seagull. When somebody draws like a seagull on a paper really quick or like a bird and it's just a line, we're going to do something similar to that. So I'm going to take the pen tool. I'm going to start below and to the left, outside of my nostril a little bit. It's up to you to kind of experiment. And then I'm going to come up this way and I'm going to come to the bottom right of the nostril and I want to match that match my nostril as best I can. If I need to, I hold option and I come back. And if it's jumping like that, I'm going to come up to view. And I'm going to turn off smart guides for a minute. Otherwise, it won't let me be as precise as I need to be. And I want to match this as much as possible. Draw my handle out. Tell the curve it's going like that right before this nostril. Boom. And then right towards the end something like that. And what you can see is I have this and I have to zoom in a little bit. All right, Using the trackpad it's hard for me to get it perfect. I'm going to hold down the pen tool. I'm going to take my anchor point tool and it's going to allow me to grab this particular handle and just get it a little more precise match that nostril a little bit better. And I can grab the handles, I can grab the path, I can take my white arrow here and move this just a little bit. So it's just about fine tuning, right? And like I said, much easier with a mouse, doing the best I can. So we don't really want a gap, right? So I'm trying to match that nostril pretty good. Next, I'm going to click this line with the selection tool, the black arrow. And if you'll notice, you look really close, right? A line right now by default is uniform, means it has square ends. So I want to click on that. I want it to taper off. So I'm going to come up here to the variable width profile. And I want width profile 1 so it tapers at the edges. And then I want to add some stuff right here, all right? some little corners. So I'm going to click and drag and just kind of get that round part of the nose. Command click off to do a new line. Come over here, same thing. Command click off to get a new line. I want to select both. So I'm going to shift click. I want these to also taper. All right, so I have them selected. Come up to the top and instead of uniform, have those taper. I'm going to turn my face back on. I'm going to zoom out, command minus a couple times, and you can start to see a nose forming. 
Now one thing you might notice is one, I got this nibbit too big right here. So I'm going to hold down my pin tool, get my anchor point tool, and I don't want the nose to be quite like that, so I fixed it. I'm going to tweak it now, I just messed that up, so I'll fix that in a moment. And then here, even though it looked like that was the edge of the nose, on an illustration it will make your nose look really big. So what I tend to do is after I draw it, I tend to just visually eyeball it to make it look a little smaller. I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard. I'm just kind of moving it in. Then instead of black, right, we might want kind of a darker kind of skin tone in there. All right? Instead of pure black, maybe like a dark brown. We can come to swatches, right, and we could try um, kind of a dark brown color. And then I would just experiment from there. I want to get my nostrils going here. Whoops. If I can click it, I might have to zoom in, get a little more fine tune control. There we go. So I'm going to make this dark also. All right, fill dark, stroke nothing. I can click the other one eye drop and instead of black I find a dark brown works and then I find that since I tweaked my line here I have to fix it a little bit alright just so it matches the nostril better there we go and that still might be too dark it's kinda up to you, you gotta experiment right I'm gonna command minus out and you can start to see that I have a nose and it's formed using negative space the shapes the shadows on the eyes the highlights on the cheeks the highlight on the nose allows for this space in the middle which is just skin tone to look like a nose right it looks like it comes up and that's why we have that highlight on the top and then we form this here and this is still probably too dark so I might go in and get those a little closer to skin tone you could even come in and click on them and you can mess with transparency a little bit so my transparency panel over here on the right and I can start to bring that down what was that 25 I think so I can match that I can even eye drop it to give me the same transparency now we're talking about things that are a little more subtle they both they all don't have to be the same this one I might make a little less transparent just so it stands out a little bit more and now we're starting to have a nose, I got eyes, mouth, teeth, right? Coming together. Hopefully yours is looking cool. I'm excited to see them.